a Tobago man has gone to a great length constructing a piece of Christmas worth watching. Eric Alexander of Tranquility Heights Signal Hill, Tobago says it's a tradition he's been doing for about 15 years with his Christmas lights. His motivation, love of Christmas and the enjoyment of his grandchildren and residents in his community. Our Tobago reporter Patricia Nicholson spoke with Mr. Alexander on his decade-old Christmas tradition. Eric Alexander has been a Signal Hill resident for 22 years and has been doing extravagant Christmas lights for several of those years. This year my creation is called Santa's Seal Boat. As you can see, you have a nice little uh, sea craft there with sails that, uh, with lights uh, uh, beautifying it. And he uses a different design each year. This is my hobby. I, I do this every year. So from January or of, of February of, of, the, of each year, I have in mind what I'm going to be doing. So I start working on it. I do sketches of the, what I'm looking for. Sometimes I put them on the computer and see how they look. And then, so by August, I start putting it together. Mr. Alexander said it usually takes him about six weeks to complete a piece, as he does most of the work by himself. Well, I erect scaffolding. I usually get some help from friends and neighbors to erect the scaffolding, and I take it from there. But the actual decorating of the tree, that's my baby. I do that personally, but I, I do depend heavily on the assistance I get from persons to with the scaffolding. His creations cost about $10,000. Added to that, his electricity cost. But he said it's not a major problem since his projects are done out of love. My project is usually ready for viewing by the 30th of November. So it's there for the entire month of December and perhaps one week into January. I put the lights on at 6.30 each night and they would stay on until 10 or sometimes 11 o'clock if, if there are people viewing. Mr. Alexander said he knows a number of Tobagonians look forward to his creations, and so he has already started thinking about what to do next year. I'm Patricia Nicholson for C News.